Hi, I'm Dr. Raj Patel, optometrist with Vancouver Contact Lens and Vision Clinic. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit about color blindness. You know, most of us see our world in color. If you're an individual with a color vision defect, you might not see these colors like we do, and you see them a little differently. So, actually, the correct terminology for color blindness is color vision deficiency. And there's actually three different types of color vision deficiency. The most common type of color vision deficiency is red-green color vision defects. And those are m much more common in men than women, and they occur in about 8% of the male population. Uh, the other major type of color vision deficiencies are the blue-yellow types. And then there's a third type called complete absence of color vision. Most of the time, uh, color uh, blindness is genetic. And so there's uh, no treatment, but fortunately most people adjust and uh, the quality of their life isn't diminished and they tend to be able to continue all the same activities that individuals with color vision do. How's the color vision detected, color vision deficiency detected? So it's typically detected during the course of uh, a normal eye exam. And so typically children have their first eye exam somewhere between the age three and six. And during the course of that exam, the eye doctor uses a book similar to this one that contains several uh, multicolored dot patterns. And so these provide a, kind of an assessment of how, uh, how well an individual sees color vision or if there's a color vision deficiency that's inherited from birth. If you're an individual that doesn't have a color vision deficiency, then you'll be able to look at uh, a card similar to this and pick out the numbers or designs that are within these dot patterns. However, if you're an individual who has a color vision deficiency, then you'll find it very difficult to see the numbers or patterns within here, uh, or perhaps see anything at all. And so that's the typically the best way, and actually the most accurate way, to determine which individuals have color deficiency. Now, sometimes children can display symptoms of color vision deficiency, and that's usually um, when parents ask, uh, you know, what do you see for this color or that color, and the child may tell you that it's a different color than it, than it is. So if, you're, if your child tends to exhibit symptoms that might suggest that he might have a color vision problem and he's a boy, then uh, I think that that would be really important to have checked out by your eye doctor. Uh, occasionally, blurry vision uh, might be the main reason why uh, children have their eyes examined, but during the course of that eye exam, uh, a color vision screening will take place, and that'll be the best way to determine if, if the child has a color vision problem. People that have a positive family history of color vision defects are also individuals that have a higher risk for having a color vision problem or color vision deficiency. And other individuals that might have jobs that um, require uh, looking at colors correctly should be tested for color vision deficiency as well. Unfortunately, there's not a treatment for color vision deficiency, um, but uh, it's possible to learn to recognize color by other means. Um, individuals that are born with color deficiency use brightness or location uh, to help determine what, uh, what these colors are. Also, there's um, specially tinted eyeglasses that may help to help uh, determine certain colors apart by way of contrast. So the take-home message is that if you have a child or you yourself exhibit um, uh, um, uh, problems with color vision, then go to see your eye doctor and have them uh, run a measurement, a check of your color vision using those simple color plates. And that's a quick and easy way to determine if uh, one of these color vision deficiencies exist.